channel. It has been forever since I've done a video, but I just wanted to share a really small Hobby Lobby haul and share um, just a little bit of an update and what's been going on and why I haven't been on. Um, I'm sure you guys already know that I moved last month and putting my new place together has just been a little bit more time consuming than I realized. So I think I finally have the majority of it done. I think um, I don't have to, you know, always give up all my weekends to decorate my home and um, kind of still organize and things like that. But um, it's just a bit of an adjustment and I just really have not had the time or really the energy to even craft. But besides that, um, apparently I can still shop. So let me just go into some of the items that I've picked up at Hobby Lobby. And these are from I think like a week or two ago. So I did actually find a couple or a few things from um, the clearance sale and of course those are few and far between but I did find these paper clips and these are the hashtag or the pound sign whatever you want to say and um, they had two packages and they were only 75 cents so I just picked up both of them. I have a problem with uh, picking up multiples. You can ask Anna about that. Hey girl! So um, she always uh, teases me about that. But um, these each have 12 in them so I thought they'd be really good to share as well. So I got these each for 75 cents and I did finally find some washi that was on clearance that I actually wanted. Um, this was a dollar twenty-five, and this is so cute with the little popsicles. I don't know if you guys can see that. And then this is just like some frosting with some sprinkles on it. So I thought that was super, super cute. And there's some gold foiling on the popsicles. Let me see if I can show you a little bit better. That's what that looks like. Isn't that so cute? So I was happy to find that, especially because it was on clearance. And then the rest of the items were um, regular price or they were, you know, with the regular sales for the week. So I did also find this washi, which I have not seen before, but it is rainbow foiled and then look at these unicorns. I've never seen this one. So this is what this one looks like and there's gold foil on like their horns and their wings. How cute is that? So I had to get that one. You guys know my um, unicorn obsession. And um, at the end of this, I will share with you something that I found at, I think it's TJ Maxx or Marshalls, I'm not sure, but it is the cutest thing ever. So I also was there one week when the ribbon was 50% off, so I did find these two. And this is satin ribbon, and then they have the gold of the unicorn. So this one is the pink with the unicorn head super cute and this was a dollar fifty with the fifty percent off and then this one is with the full unicorn it's like galloping and it's in the blue so of course I had to pick this one up and it's the same it was a dollar fifty with the fifty percent off sale and then I really need to stop picking up fabric. I just can't help it. It's like my weakness. So I did see this beautiful fabric and this was like on my way out of that section 
and I saw that they had some new fabric so um, of course this has flowers and it's blue and polka dotted um, need I say more so isn't it so pretty I don't know how um, blue it's coming across but it's really like pale aqua if that gives it a little bit of a clearer um, description but I only got half a yard I was good so um, I love this and I'm sure I'll be stocking up on this some more it's so shabby I love it and then the last thing that I got was paper of course so I was so excited when I saw this I was at a new Hobby Lobby and just kind of perusing to see if I could still find anything that was on clearance that I hadn't seen at the other places. And this is a newer collection, I believe. Yeah, it came out 2017, but this is the Prima Lavender collection. And it is so, so gorgeous. I don't know if you guys have seen it. I'll just do a quick flip through. I mean, look how gorgeous that paper is. I do have a few individual sheets that have foiling on them, but here are some of the cut aparts. I don't know what a good way it is for me to do this so you guys can see it. And the great thing about Prima papers is that you get so many of one design that you don't necessarily have to hoard all of it. So here's the back side of this. And then more gorgeous flowers. And I love this page with all the butterflies. So pretty. And you can totally fussy cut these out as well to use them on your projects. And the back of it kind of looks like a map of some sort. But I really don't have papers that are like all like the purple tone and lavender like this. So I was so excited to find this. And I did use my 40% off coupon because when I went, the papers weren't 50% off. But here's like some ledger paper with a beautiful floral bouquet up here. This one looks more like a map on this side. And so gorgeous. I think this is the one that I have the single sheets of that has the gold foiling. And I think one more pattern. To me these look like postcards. I just love this collection. When it first came out, I knew I wanted it. So I was so glad to find it at Hobby Lobby. So the normal price for this is $14.99. So 40% off. It's a great deal. And even better if you can get it when it's 50% off. So that is my little haul from Hobby Lobby. Um, stay tuned because I have a, um, a pretty big haul from Tuesday morning and that's from like last week and basically the last two days so stay tuned for that I found a whole bunch of stuff and what I wanted to share with you that I got from I really think I got this from Marshalls I already took the sticker off so I can't tell you where I got it from but look at this when Anna was over she wanted to steal it from me but it is so cute. I could not leave it behind. Isn't she so cute? And she's a unicorn. And this only cost $2.99. So that was even better. So I think I'm going to go try to find some more if I can remember what store I was in. And um, these will make some great gifts. And I know plenty of ladies that would love getting this as a gift. So 
I'll just leave that there so you guys can look at how beautiful she is. But I hope you guys have been doing well. I feel so out of the loop just because I just have not been crafting. And when I do sit down to craft, it's like my mojo just kind of flew out the window um, when I moved. So I am trying to get back into the swing of things. I've only um, basically managed to color up a couple of images, which once I turn them into cards, I will go ahead and share that with you guys. And also, if you guys follow me on Instagram, and if you don't, I will have the link down in the description box below. But I had posted, I think a couple weeks ago, um, I've been gathering a lot of stuff for de-stashing, so please stay tuned for that. Um, if you guys have ever de-stashed before, you guys know that it is time-consuming. So, um, like I said, all my weekends have been dedicated to um, organizing and cleaning and trying to decorate, which I'm so bad at, but I'm getting a little bit better. So... Um, Hopefully I will be back in the swing of things with my crafting because I do really miss it and through all the stress I like had no stress reliever so um, I just wanted to pop on really quick and let you guys know that I'm still here so welcome to all my new subscribers and of course all the subbies that have stuck with me even from my last channel so I hope you guys are having a great week so far and I will be back really soon with some more videos. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone.